All right, go ahead and start it off. Black. Yeah. Hey, Shalom. This is brother. Uh, this is brother Ash. The, the brother Ash behind the ha camera. Shalom. All right. This is brother Mayum coming at you from GMS Tampa Bay. We're literally at the bay. All right. Tampa Bay. Uh, we want to get first, first, first and foremost. All, All the glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rechak Kodash. Double honors to the elders of the Great Millstone, and much blessing and salutations to the Akim and the, around the four corners of the earth who are diligently pushing out the truth and the truth and the sincerity. All right. So we want to come out today to do a, on a, the the uh, what the scriptures call Reuben, who that's the true nationality according to the Bible, but where the world deems the Seminole Indians. All right, you got a lot of fucking these, these goddamn devils out here making faces and looking at us and and making all types of hoorah and you know hoopla. All right, but we coming at you with the fucking truth, man. We come, we're gonna come at you with the real deal, holy field, man. All right, no matter what the hell you think, no matter how you feel, we're gonna give you the truth according to what according to what the devil gave uh, gave us because hey, the devil we gave us right here. yeah, we got the, secular history kind of secular history that the, the, the that the so-called white man Esau according to the Bible gave us man all right but really it's according to the scriptures because this this has been history that's been given to us from the beginning all right so you get that real quick and then we'll start going in because we got we got a bunch of uh there's a bunch of uh, uh little you know uh little monuments that we're gonna go through t today and um Lord's will is edifying so just get that first and then we'll start reading these things and bring out scriptures. <clears throat> Good. Okay. This is uh Genesis chapter 49 and verse 3. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might. Kind of said Reuben is, is the so-called Seminole Indians. Okay? And we're gonna <laughs> it, through this through this history that we're gonna go through that Esau has conveniently placed out here for us. That's right. We're gonna prove it. Go ahead. Okay. It says, Thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength. Time, because Reuben was the firstborn, obviously. But wait, it said he was the beginning of the strength, his might. And we're going to prove why it says that. All right, because uh, the Reubenites, didn't, they were no no, no fold over uh, Israelites, man. They, they were they were warring, all right? They were, they were fighting against Esau, man. They had that warrior spirit in them. Just like Gad. Go ahead. Even even when you look into history, the last Native American tribe that was taken down was Reuben, man, the Seminole Indians. They were the last tribe to get taken down. Why? Because the the hey, the the tribe of Reuben, which are the Seminole Indians according to history, according to the white man's term, okay. all right? They were a hardcore tribe, man. They ain't playing around. They they weren't playing around with these damn devils, man. Kind of even even though uh, the first established city was here in Florida, Reuben was the last stronghold really of the native, the so-called Native Americans. All right, yeah. Or, or the Reuben, the Reuben Indians. All right. Yep. Because by the time of, of what the the because what the so-called Negroes were out here in the in the in the early 1600s, that means they were already had taken over Gad, man. They're already pushing Gad to the west. But what we're going to read in the, in the 1800s, Seminole Indians, like so-called, the Reubenites were still fighting, man. All the way to just 200 years ago, man. Just just less than 200 years ago. So that, that that's why I said he was the beginning of the reading again, Bible Son. This is uh, Genesis chapter 49, verse 3. Reuben... Thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength. Kind of, if you if you, you want to ask yourself why Reuben didn't wasn't the head tribe, is because what he did with his his father's yeah, concubine, yeah. right? Even though he was the firstborn, but it was all through the spirit for Judah to be set up. Though, go ahead. The excellency of my dignity and the excellence of power. Dang it! And we're gonna we're gonna show you some of the power that that Reuben was given, man, because this was a prophecy. From Jacob or, or Israel himself saying, well, well, matter of fact, go up well, a little verse bit. Verse 4, verse 4 goes into it. Can I say, read it, because it's where it says, they shall fall upon you the last days. Because this would be, Jacob was giving them future prophecy, man. Sorry. Good. This is Genesis chapter uh, 49, verse 1. 
And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which we shall befall you in the last days. So, so, so the, the, the progenitor of Israel, I, born with the name of Jacob, later changed into Israel mm -hmm. for fighting with the angel, all right, all night long, beating the angel up, man. <laughs> but what? He said that, that this, these, this is going to come upon you, his children in the last days. This is what the Bible says. Go ahead. Come verse 2. Gather yourselves together. And here, ye sons of Jacob. Uh, so, so, so Jacob t got his rounded up his sons before he died, and told them the spirit of the Lord was on him to give them prophecy. Man, the goes to show you that Jacob was a prophet himself. That's right. right? The father of the pr the prophets was a prophet. If you can receive it, all right. Go ahead. And hearken unto unto Israel, your father. Hearken unto Israel, your father, because Jacob. his name was Jacob. Israel, exactly. Go ahead. Yep. Verse three again. Reuben, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the ex excellency of power. That's right. All right, so now let's, let's, uh, let's start reading some of this. If you want to narrate it. Right, you got it, camera? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Con, this is uh, entitled Tampa and Coach Choby. The word Tampa, in which Tampa derives its modern name, was used for hundreds and perhaps thousands of years before the coming of Europeans. All right. And, you know, you can only go into the history and go into the Hebrew, you know, because obviously we know that the Reubenites, the Simeonites, what the people called Seminole Indians, they spoke Hebrew. You know, we can only derive, you know, we, we didn't go really go into it before camp, but. Okay, yeah. there's not really a word for Tampa in Hebrew, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what they were broke, they were speaking broken Hebrew. That, hey, well, that's why I say it derives, derives its modern name, all right? Because it, 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 in the ancient days, when when the, uh, the Northern Kingdom was first brought to America, all right, when the Northern Kingdom was first brought to America, this is during the time of the Assyrian captivity, which exactly. which was, which King was uh, Salmanezer. Yeah, yeah. All right. King Salomon, yeah, yeah. During the time of the Syrians, all right. We didn't speak no fucking English, man. Yeah. We spoke Hebrew. Yeah. All right. So we didn't. Well, well better say we didn't speak Spanish. Yeah. Because the, the or, or or with the name, yeah, English, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, hey, you know our our people. We're we're a people of, of of history. You know, even to this very fucking day, even though our people are bugged out, our people still try to keep our customs. You still got our people uh, having our festivities, having uh, pork festivities, even though it's wicked, but our people still, to this very day, they still celebrate the same customs that the ancestors uh, somewhat, celebrated. Anyway, yeah. yeah, somewhat. As far as, you know, as, as being wicked. Because there's uh, our, our people are spiritual people, but yep. let's continue reading on this, because we, right. we, we got a couple of stones to go through the history. Okay, right. It says, Tampa derives modern name, was used for hundreds and perhaps thousands of years before the coming of Europeans. Before the coming of you so-called white people, all right. To these shores, which Tampa is on the west coast of Florida, so the east, east coast east was coast. conquered. Uh, Tampa, was okay, conquered okay. before the west coast. Yep, right? yep, yep. It says European was these shores. It was the name of a nearby Indian village when the Spaniards arrived. At least by 1513. And when did Christopher Columbus set sail? 1492. Mm -hmm. So just what, 20 years later, mm -hmm. they were here on the shores of, of Florida. Which, where did he land before he came to uh, uh, to the? He America. never came to America. Christopher That's Columbus never. Con, con. But before he, uh, Christopher Columbus even hit anywhere else, he hit where? Hispaniola. Hispaniola. And then what? That Puerto made Rico, room for everybody Cuba. else to start to come over here. All right. So it, it fits with the timeline. Yeah. This lower southeast, southwest shoreline, which is Tampa, was a focus of their explorations. They heard the natives, the Seminole Indians, the Knights, using the word and the Spaniards, <laughs> using what words? The Hebrew word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. broken Hebrew. <laughs> hey, because what? You had the Taino Indians, the, the Ephraimites, they were using the word Yaya for yeah. Yahweh. All right? That was a form of a broken Hebrew. All right. So I said the natives using the word and the Spaniards wrote it in their documents. 
So there's documents on this man, but where are they at? Yeah. Where are these documents at? Where are the documents of them using the the the, the their their native tongue? Man? Yeah. Let's see. Let's see what the what what, what they were actually saying or what was interpreted. It. Okay. They did not understand it. So the, hey, we'll devils... get the scripture real quick. Uh, I think it's Deuteronomy 28. Uh, get it? Deuteronomy 28, uh, 40, maybe 40 something, where it says that, that I should send them the uh, language that, that I should not understand, something like, along those lines. The strange speech, you know what I'm talking about? Because, th hey, this 28 is. 28 and 40? 28. 28, and uh, it's around. It's in there somewhere. If not, just grab, grab the blue letter or whatever. It's, it's one of the curses. Okay, because one of the curses was that the, the Lord was saying one of his enemies whose speech we would not understand. Okay. And look, they, they Esau didn't even understand our language. Okay, so that meaning that we spoke different languages. Go ahead. Okay. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 49. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from afar. And look, look, did it not say that the Europeans came, right? So let's yep. go. From the... End of the earth. All right, so it was the complete other side of the earth that these devils came from. Okay. As swift as the eagle flieth. Hey, what's the what's the national bird for America? Eagle. Right. What's the national bird for Rome? Eagle. The Greeks, the eagle. Hmm. Go ahead. A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. And it says they they did not understand it. Yep, they did and not no understand. It. And and no, no dependable. Translation survives. Exactly. Meaning they can they understand. Lied. There is a translation. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they're liars. There is, there is a translation of the Hebrew. Just these devils weren't given the knowledge, the knowledge to understand it. Because they didn't speak it. Yeah, exactly. They weren't speaking it. They were taking on the word. They, they were taking on English and Spanish, or French, whatever, they, or Dutch, whatever. Okay. Well, let's see what it finished off saying. It says, but. It's used today echoes that rich and exciting history. Mm. Meaning that these goddamn devils, they wanted to change thing up, things up to uh, benefit and to suit their history, their form of history. All right? Because they, they didn't understand the language. But what? They wanted to make it seem like it was beneficial, beneficial to them. Yeah. All right? So let's keep on reading. It says, another way in which the natives distinguish the this area which is florida or tampa this, this Ta or area. tampa was by its topography all right they called it cotan chobia all right a contradiction of the frame cotani contra contraction 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 shortened or, version or shortened yeah. version of a contraction of the phrase cotani chobi the big place where the water meets the land and that's why you got a tampa bay the the bay the bay, that's what it's talking about, man. Because uh, the bay is, is a body of water that ends up in the Gulf of Mexico. The big place where the water meets the land. Kind. In English, it says, in in English, we write their, their words in the Hebrew. Kotan Chotobi. In English, it said. In English, though. That's the key words. Yeah. So what, what, what was the actual, what were they actually calling themselves? We don't know because this devil... As he said, he couldn't understand it. He couldn't just uh, 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 understand it. It said they did not understand it in no in no dependable translation. So how the hell they? That's that, that goes to show you. He was a goddamn moron. They said that there was no uh, 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 what say no dependable translation. But then they say that we write their words Kantachobi. So you translating it, but there was no uh, um, there was no dependable translation. That's the devil for you, man. Yeah. All right. So um, yeah, you got the tr you got the English translation. You got the English translation. Of what but there means. was no uh, a d dependable translation. It just said yeah. it. No yeah. dependable translation. But then they translate it into. Come on, man. So, hey, yeah, because it's saying no the no dependable translation survives. Survives. But then they got a translation. <laughs> but yeah, but Esau. It, as long as Esau gives you a translation, it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and that goes to show you. How much of a devil this so-called white man is, all right? Because so-called white man to tell you there ain't no explanation, no explanation to something, but then he'll give you a fucking bullshit ass explanation to something, which makes no goddamn sense. Let's keep all right, brother. It says they called it uh, Kotan nah, Chichobi. Here, the beautiful. 
It says here the beautiful river, which is called the Hillsborough River, which, which was is, named is, after a devil. Kind of, which is bullshit today because this goddamn river is brown Full as of shit. shit. Yeah, Al yeah. <laughs> so it ain't even your pie anymore. Yeah. That we know today as the Hillsborough River sweeps gracefully to its wide, deep bay, which Maybe is the, the Tampa, Tampa Bay. bay. Yeah. As the Hillsboro, now, go down, brother. Oh, come. Come on. Before meeting, mer a lot, before merging with the Great, uh, with the Gulf of Mexico, all right, which is uh, out here in the Tampa Bay, the, Tampa, the Tampa Bay, Bay. Yeah, eventually goes, goes to, to the, the Gulf. Gulf of Mexico. That's why they, they say that uh, um, the big place where the water meets the land, because if you go, if you look at the Tampa Bay, it go, it's almost a complete circle except for that spot that leads into the Gulf of Mexico. Come. Go ahead. Then it says, how many natives occupied this land before the Europeans found it? Question mark. Question, man. That's a question. How many natives occupied this damn land before these goddamn devils came up here, man? I guarantee you it was in the hundreds, man. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands, man. Cause cause uh, just just look how many how many Native Americans, so-called uh Seminole Indians, were, were took part of the the Trail of Tears, man. But then you got the same devils that did it the atrocities walking around here like this they land. That's right. Go ahead, continue on. So, so, hey, setting up monuments just like this for them to read, man. Yeah, and they don't even read it, man, because they know it condemns them. And we gonna, it, hey, all these things that we gonna about to read, man, this shit condemns all each and every one of these devils. Go ahead. Come on, it says, we will never know for sure. That's a damn yeah, That's a goddamn I mean, line, yeah, we might not have an hey. exact number, but you know damn well who was here and who got here you know, go ahead. Yep. But certainly thousands or even hundreds of thousands. There you go. That is yeah. very accurate right there. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. <laughs> of men and women and children lived here or traveled to call this rich land. Where Why you, was this uh, hey, land hold on, rich? Hold on. Where, where you stand now? Where we standing now, man? And look, look what's here. We got, we got the, I think that's the Hillsborough River yeah, right there. The Hillsborough that, River. that we just read about, right? You got the Hillsborough. Look, look, you got, you got all these buildings. You got devils over there eating good. You know, this is the river walk. They call Shit. it the river walk. All this crap. But well, let's go to the next block now. Okay. All right. It says, uh, today's Tampa was a war town born of the conflict between the bold young United States and the native peoples. For, for because control. Of, you, know, you got to remember. All right. The so-called white man came here in the 1600s the late 1500s all right he started bringing slaves here matter of fact look up uh jamestown look up saint augustine what year they were established man all right because florida was one of the last places they took down man that's why i say it was a war town man because there was a lot of war reuben didn't fold and that's why we read it in, in, in genesis 49 all right that he the, 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 the beginning of his might his strength all right he was the firstborn Reuben didn't just fold over and let niggas run all over them, man. They actually fought. All right. You got it? So, uh, Jamestown. Jamestown was? established and uh, St. Augustine. Now, you don't need to see where it's just when it was established. Yeah, I know, but there's a different Jamestown. Jamestown, Florida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, let's see. Or St. Augustine Slocks. Or, yeah, it, it, either way. You don't need to see when it was established. I think it's in Virginia. Something like that. Oh, okay, Jamestown, Virginia. Yeah, that's what I want to say, because they say that the, the United States, so obviously it was established by then. The um, United States was established by this time where they were over here battling with the uh, the Seminole Indians. Come on, bro, what are you doing? James. Yeah. Jamestown was established in 1607. 1607. All right, and we're talking about seven. Uh, this 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 particular uh, thing right here is in the in the early 17 mid 1700s. All right, so we went from the the, the early 1500s, where where where, where these devils, the Euro, the so-called Europeans came. All right, now we're talking about when Tampa was established. All right, which was in the early 1700s or the mid 1700s. And America had already established the co the thirteen colonies. Okay. All right, by this time, Jamestown was like one of the major ones, but Saint Augustine was the first actual city 
Uh, well, what, Saint, what year was Saint that? Augustine was established September 15. of 1565. And look when these devil, the Spaniards, the so-called white men that speak in Spanish right. came, 1513. When this, because hey, it says when the Spaniards arrived at least, all right, it says when the Spaniards arrived at least by 1513. That means they had, they had already uh, been coming here, yeah, man. Exactly. Yep. All right. They, matter of fact, they had been coming here by the 1400s. The late, the late 1400s. Yeah. The, Cotton, the late 1400s, man. Because Christopher Columbus never came here, but everybody else that came after him came to to the Florida. That's why Florida is a major place, man. Because where were the where were the first people? Where were the first devils going to? They were going to Hispaniola, Cuba, uh, Puerto Rico, and what's the closest place of America? Florida. Florida. All right. So let's continue to read. It says, uh, uh, "The today's Tampa was a war town, born of the conflict." Between the bold young United States, bold young United States, the, the, the devils, get that scripture, uh, the, the, the thief is in John, the thief coming not, but they're still in the kill. You know what I'm talking about? Mm. So let's read that again. It says, today's Tampa, today's Tampa, all right? So today, the, the, what, what are we looking at? Because we downtown Tampa, all right? All right, we by the Hillsborough River. You know, you can't really see the buildings and whatnot, but this is downtown Tampa. All right, so today's Tampa was... A war town. So this place was was what? And and you hold get that and then go to Habakkuk and and, and uh, uh, Nahum. Okay, because this place was was founded on bloodshed. All right, iniquity. This place was is nothing but rape, robbery, and murder. All right. But then Habakkuk they want to have huh? Habakkuk one. Get get to John first. This is the, the book of John. Th yeah, got, you got it. This is the book of John chapter 10 and verse 10 it reads the thief coming not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy i am come for that they Shut might up. have life huh, so the thief you know just speaking on esau he come in nothing but to steal and to kill all right and that's what he did with the so-called native american all right the the reuben indians the indigenous people of the islands that's what he did all right and how did he do it he did it through bloodshed all right because what did it just say right here was a war town war town what happens in war man bloodshed uh i think it's habakkuk three maybe where it says uh, a city a city established on me and then nahum chapter three or maybe it's habakkuk one and nahum three it's in there though just type in bloody city woe to the bloody city Cause this is this Nahum, is this is uh go ahead. this is the book of Nahum chapter three verse one. Woe to the bloody city! Woe to the bloody city! Today's Tampa was a war town. What do you think happens in war? Blood gets shed. Go ahead. And now they call it Tampa. It is full of lies and robbery. This place is full of lies and robberies, man. Tampa was gotten on deceits, lies, death, and destruction. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is your history. Go ahead. They depart. They pray. The prey departeth not. The prey departeth not, man. So we're still here to this day. All right, because the predator chases after the prey, and the prey has not left. We're still here in the land of our captivity. Okay. What, what was that, Nahum or Habakkuk? Nahum 3 and 1. Kind of now get Habakkuk. Was that 2? It might be. Yeah, I think it's 2. Woe to the bloody sea, two and three or something like that. Or two. I know it's in Habakkuk. Two. Two and three is for the vision is yet from the point oh, of No, no, no. But it's, it's in Habakkuk. Just, just type it in, brother. Bloody city. Yeah, name. yeah, that's it. I know it comes up name. Oh, come. Okay. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, yep. verse 12. Yep. Woe to them that build a town with blood. All right, so it said, woe to them that build a town with blood. It said, today's temple was a war town, born of the conflict between the bold, young United States and the native people for the control 
for control of the land and its tremendous resources. Hey, and it says the, 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 the natives were fighting for control of, of land. Now they, they were fighting to keep it. Land. Yeah, they were fighting to keep yeah, it, man. They already had the land, man. But these goddamn devils, these so-called Edomites, the white, or it's a lot, the so-called white man, Edom, according to the Bible, was uh, fighting to take away the land from the Native Americans that were here in Florida, man. All right? That's the true history, man. God, you fucking again. devils, man, came in and took the land from the Native Americans, man. You damn devils, man. All right? This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse... Um, 12. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me start at 12. This is Habakkuk, chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to them that build this town with blood. All right, so what, how do you think they build this town, man? By slaughtering the natives of this land. Like it says right here, man. This, we didn't make this. We didn't make none of this, man. Esau wrote this, man. He's, in, he's admitting to his faults, man. This is, this is a, 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 a confession of guiltness, man. He's, yeah. a, he's acknowledging that he's guilty, man. Oh, hey, but he portrays it. He portrays it as history for you goddamn devils to look upon it as is it, as if it's something that's something to be praised, man. Okay. Like, oh, we overcame them savages. Yeah. Goddamn, you were the savages, man. You fucking devils were the savages, man. All right? Keep going. The so-called white man was a savage, not the Native Americans, man. All right? You go back to the Dark Ages, the Middle Ages, all right? Who was showing the so-called white man how to take a bath, how to eat? It was so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. But you, you goddamn devils wanted to take our people into slavery, man. And then you want to portray us as we were the savages, man. Like we came into, uh, into some type of damn agreement with you damn devils, man. We didn't come into a new agreement with you devils, man. The yeah. so-called white man, he put our people into slavery forcefully, man. You look up the Indian Removal Act. When you look up the word removal, it ain't nothing... Talking about, um, what, what's the word they used? Taken away. They were taken away. No, they, they, they said that they, they agreed. When you, when, it, hey, the Indian Removal Act was not no damn agreement between the so-called white man, which was Andrew Jackson at that Andrew time, Jackson. and the Seminole Indians. That was not no agreement. Hold that on, was hold a on, forceful hold on, hold on. removal. Hey, 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 can we ask you a question? Are you intellectual? I'm sorry. I'm you, you deal with secular history? You deal oh, with secular hit? Hold on, hold on. He's not American. He's where, where are you from then, if you don't mind? Germany? Oh, okay. How long have you been in America? Five weeks. Five weeks? Yeah. Five weeks. <laughs> man, you a liar, man. Hey. All right, have a nice day. Well, <laughs> regardless, day, regardless, you're yeah, an Edomite. You're going into slavery. How about that? That's right, man. Come on, come on over here. Come on over come here. Come on over here and you'll find out. No, no, that's fine. That's fine. We're gonna deal with you. We we we're making a a, a documentary what's on history. Junior? We're we're uh uh. You're making bringing awareness. Out, we're huh? You are raising awareness? Are yeah, we, we're yeah, we're yeah, we're yeah. raising awareness for our people. All right, because our people, all right, are, are what the people call today Seminole Indians. All yeah. right, that's one of our peoples right here. And now we're trying to bring out acknowledgement. All right, we're trying to get these people to acknowledge. What they did, and look, we didn't make these signs, right? Yeah. And you go sign by sign, and you're gonna read of the atrocities that were done to the so-called Seminole Indians. All right. So we're trying yeah, to bring yeah. out awareness, as you said, that get Revelation 13, Bible Shah, that according to the Bible, who did this to the Lord's people because the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they're the Lord's people, according to the Bible. Yeah. Not according to how I feel or how they feel, according to what the Bible says. So-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right, are the Lord's people. Now, you do have our people mixed throughout all nations, all right? You could be one of our people. We don't know yet. We're going to see. We're going to feel the spirit out. But the people that did this to the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you got to remember, Christopher Columbus came over here in what, 1492? Yeah. And what did he do? What do you know about that? Yeah. Let me know what, you, what, you, what you've been taught in Germany. He, he chopping all up, all the Indians up. Okay, cool. So you you agree with that then? So yeah. what yeah, happened you, after you, that? You, you guys have a dark history. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we Our do people have a dark history because we've been raped, robbed, and murdered. Now get this. Now what? This is what the. Do you believe in the Bible? Let me ask you that. No. Nope. You don't no, believe sir. in the Bible. What do you believe in then? Nothing. Nothing. So yeah, what do you what do you mean you don't believe in nothing? It, it, it's yeah, kind, you're eating my man. It, it's it's kind of sad, but 
right. it, it's sad. It is sad. That's that. Yeah, but but I. Uh, what part of Germany are you from? South. So M- Munich. You know Munich. Munich? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, so what you're practice. telling me is that. So how do how did how did we get here? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Yeah. What you what you what you think? Yeah. With the, I'm all of, on the board with the Big Bang. Theory. You're on the board? Yeah. So, he's, he's into the science. Oh, yeah. you're into science. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay. So you're in the Big Bang Theory, all right. Well, let me ask you a question. A book. How can you get a book? What takes place to make a book? Sorry? What? All right, for you to write a book, for yeah. you to publish a book, the pictures to come on the page, yeah. the words to get on there, yeah, I, how I, does the I no? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. What's written down there. Oh, so you don't believe that books came? We got books, right? We got we got books. What, so, so you're saying that books don't exist either? No. <laughs> what, let me. That's why I yeah, said let me yeah, finish. Yeah. All right. So a book. Can a book just float down, or just appear out of nowhere? Or does somebody got to put the pages together? Page one, two, six, eighteen, sure, whatever. Sure. And the words got to be aligned perfectly so it makes sense. The pictures got to be in perfect places. Sure. You can't have a picture of a gorilla next to a, a, a words that are talking about hippopotamus, right? Yeah. So now, can a book just manifest itself? Yes. Or no. No. So that means it has to be an intelligent design to put those words together. It needs to be to an put it, everything got to be in order, right? So now, how can the trees? serve the purpose they do how can the sun serve the purpose they do how can we work perfectly the way we need to be if there was not something that put us together you understand what i'm saying uh i'm not really sure i'm following you're not sure what i'm following yeah okay well you you get daniel's 12 and 10 because we're going to give you one bible scripture that tells you why you don't understand get that real quick because there's it's it's it's, it's pointless to bring out other scriptures because you're not going to understand them I, I don't. I don't. Hold wanna, on, hold on. I don't want to offend you, but I think no, it's. Just, right. just, you don't. You don't believe in the Bible. That's cool. Half of the up. half of the world don't believe in the Bible. I, I think it's just us. made up. But we got one. Yeah, you think it's made up? But yeah. wait. Yeah. Okay, so so you believe in science, right? Yeah. Who wrote those books? It's, yeah, scientists who prove things. Who wrote, wrote those books, though? You said it's made up. You said this, the Bible's made up, right? <laughs> so who wrote who wrote who wrote the, who wrote those books you learned from? Who, who gave them authority to to write that book? Nobody gave it, them isn't it theories? Don't you have the Big Bang theory? Yeah, but it's proven though. What does theory mean? It's proven. The Big Bang is proven. Yeah. I, give I, me, give me an account. Bring yeah. it out. How is it proven? I, I think. You think? Part, but that's the problem. You think too much. Part, <laughs> you need to know. All right. We don't think. We know what we talking I, about. I, Bring I, it out. I got a quick precept, a quick scripture. Because you Which said you don't believe in. You said. Uh, you believe in science, right? Well, yeah. the Germans, because you're from Germany, right? They right. created the nuclear missiles, right? Those were the head scientists that created nuclear missiles. Yeah. Yes. You, you would agree? Manhattan that? Project? I, I, don't, I don't know, but if you say so. I, 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 Albert yeah. Einstein, if you look into history, the Germans, during World War II, America went into Germany and they took a lot of the German top scientists, scientists yeah. the, the top scientists to America to right, create and, the and nuclear and missiles. Yeah, right. Right? Manhattan right. Project, yeah. look it up. Now tell me, who does this describe? What, what people... Does this describe? This is Isaiah chapter 54. You're not going to get that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Read it anyway. Read it anyway. Because yeah. you don't believe in the Bible, but this is in the Bible. We yeah. can prove all things through the Bible. Okay. Slavery, what we're talking about, we can prove through the Bible. What can you prove through science? Okay. Which is all theories. You don't even know what you what you believe, man. Cause, Isaiah- cause, hold on. Before you read that, no, just read it, man. Cause, <laughs> just read it. This is Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 16. Behold, this is the Lord speaking. Behold, I have created the smith that blew the coals in the fire. Now, what do smiths do? Yeah, blacksmith. Like blacksmith. Blacksmith. What do yeah. they do? Yeah, they... Uh, what do they create? They cast their iron, I think. Okay. I, I, I don't know yeah, the words, yeah, 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 but, but they, well, they, they bend they their irons the iron? and, and... Into what? Into weapons, right? Swords. Not, not swords. necessarily. Not well, back okay. in the day... But like these shoes for the horses or something. Yeah, they do that with yeah. 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 steel metal. Or, or nails or something. Yeah, yeah with the steel metal. Back in the but day... But their main job. When their main job back in the day, back in the ancient days, what they, they, they would do... Sure, they, they would weapons, create armor. Course, yeah. They would create uh, swords. Yeah, all right? sure, sure. So, so the so Bible was yeah. back in the day. So it says, Behold, I have created... The Lord said this. I have created the smith. Go ahead. I have created the smith that blows the coals and that bringeth forth an instrument of his work. I have created the waster to destroy. So now the Lord created the, the <laughs> blacksmith. <laughs> he don't know what's going which on. Which I know is confusing. <laughs> but it said the Lord created the smith that blew at the coals. Now, 
Oh, when, when, he created a waster to destroy you. God, let, let, let me put the, <laughs> the example, the, the image in your head. When you have a, uh, a blacksmith back in the days, you would have a fire and you would have coals, right? Yeah. To light the fire to, yeah. to be able to make it. Yeah. Now the Lord said that he created the smith to blow the coals. That means you're sitting there, guy that's blowing the coals is the guy who's making the fire bigger, right? Yeah. All right. Now the Lord said that, that the so, Lord created the smith God. He says, to blow the coals. To blow the coals. So the Lord created the man who was to make the fires bigger. So let's keep, keep on reading. It says, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. All right. So hold on, hold on. The I got to ask the question. I got to Because you say you already don't believe in the Bible. You say you're from Germany. Are you Jewish? No, no. I, I used to be a Christian. But I quit church, uh, I think, three years ago. That was ago. a smart idea. Okay, really. okay, okay. <laughs> I just had to ask, you know, because you say you're from Germany. Well, he might, he, you know, he could be. He, he could, he could. You know, we don't know yet. But we, 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 we still filling them out. But the Lord, the Lord said that He created the guy who, who's putting the wind, the the, the the wind to the fire to make it bigger, right? I, oh, a perfect example is <laughs> when you have the the trains that run off of coal. What does somebody got to do? They got to throw in coal and they got to blow the coal to make keep it the right, fire going. Right, yeah. You know what? What do people do? They'll blow, try to get the fire going right yeah. well the lord created those people to make that fire go if you say so yeah okay. well, no that's, that's what, what the, the bible says that's so. what the bible says. yeah yeah but sure. i know we don't you don't believe yeah, in the bible, believe in the bible. Just, reading you with the bible. Just, just get daniel's 12 brother <laughs> just get daniel's 12 and 10. this is why you don't believe and you you don't understand you never will understand now that's what we're going to prove it to you through the bible because you you say scientology or you believe in scientology or just science I don't know what Scientology is. For okay, sure. so you, but we got from as far we, we you believe in the Big Bang. Yeah. So yeah. let before we read this, what came before the Big Bang? What led up oh, to that, the Big Bang? That's a tricky question. That is a tricky question, isn't it? Yeah. So it's a theory, ain't it? But who created God then, or what was before we'll God? Get that. My ways are higher than your ways. <laughs> but because but we got it, we got answers. Because I I asked you what what made the Big Bang. You can't tell me. You ask me what created the most high, and I can give you an answer according to the Bible. Yeah, but, but that's the difference between me and you. <laughs> but but what what if the Bible is but see made we don't up, s s well, let me stop you right if, there. We don't then, deal with what if can't, can't we don't deal anything. with. Okay, you believe in prophecy. You know you understand the word prophecy. Yeah. What does I that mean? The word. What does the word prophecy mean? Just say something before it happens, right? Yes. Yeah. The Bible yeah, right. has plenty of prophecies that has happened, are happening, and are gonna happen. All right, like what we, we came out here to, to, to do a lesson on on the Indian Removal Act that happened, right? Did it not happen? Yeah. The Trail of Tears, you ever heard of that? Trail Maybe not because you're from Germany, so you, I don't, you, you, you probably just, never heard of it. Came yeah, you just came here, but nonetheless, uh, World War One, World War One and World War Two was prophesied in the Bible. They came to pass, didn't they? And guess what? The Lord said that there was a World War Three coming. But read that. Yeah. Read that. This is Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 8. It says, for my thoughts, the Lord's thoughts, uh -huh. are not your thoughts. So we don't know who created the Lord. The Lord is omnipotent. The Lord created creation itself. But you are claiming to have the Big Bang Theory, but you can't even tell me what happened. And or give me a reason why you don't know. I'll give you a reason why we don't know who created or how the Lord was created. We just read it to you. That's not for us to decide. We are his servants. We are his creation. It's like... It's like, okay, you ever play with little army toys, you know, whatever? Yeah. You ever play with toys? Yeah, sure. All right, oh, this Everybody is going to be the good does. guy, this is going to be the bad guy. Are the toys, can the toys wake up one day and say, why you made me the good guy, why you made me the bad guy? You no. bad guy? No, sir. They can't say, oh, why am I a toy? Why am I this? No, they can't, right? The grass can't say, why am I me? The sun can't say, why I shine? No. But you can't give me an explanation of how the Big Bang happened. You just believe it because it's a theory. It is it not a theory. It's is it not a theory? Is it a theory? Yes or no? That's all I want to know. Yeah, it's a theory. It's a theory. It's, a theory. Yeah, it's, it's not proven fact. Yeah, it's not, a proven not proven fact. fact. Yeah. yeah. Right. Right. So now that you say it's a theory, why do you believe it? If I theorize do you, that is son. Do you believe in dinosaurs? Oh, of course. It's in they're the Bible. In the, they're in the Bible. <laughs> do you believe in dinosaurs? Sure. They're fossils, right? There's yeah. evidence of dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's there's fossils, right? Yeah. How did they die? Let's check this out. How did they die? How did the dinosaurs die? Because the dinosaurs were here. They clearly were here. Yeah. Right. How did they die? With a meteor. I a think. meteor. Okay. So right. if if I throw something in a hot fire, what happens to it? The bones. 
How do they cremate people? Do they not put it in a hot fire? What comes out of that fire? Ashes or bones? Yeah, what? what hold on, hold on. Let him ask it. A, 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 a better way of explaining it. When someone dies yeah. and you decide to cremate someone, right? You decide to burn them to ashes. Yeah, cremate. Okay. Right? Yeah. What happens to the. You put the whole body in the oven, right? Yeah. What happens to the entire body? Are there still bones yeah, intact? It breaks apart. It, it breaks into even ashes. Even the bones. Right? Yeah. So now if a, a meteor came from the sky <laughs> and burned all the dinosaurs to death, why are there still bones? Why are there fossils? They, Better they didn't die immediately through the meteor. Oh, was there was it a nuclear but, meteor? No, the radiation no. killed them or what? Uh, the meteor crashed into the earth uh -huh. and uh, blew Where? up all the dust. And oh, then it, the, it covered the sky? Yeah, right. And, okay. And then the, the Where, where's that? Is that what, what theory is that? Give me that theory. You said the bank. Oh, well, you don't know. So, so you're just going off what you heard then. I don't know what you're talking about. You're just going off what you've been told in the schools. Yeah, because and, here, but you you're repeating listen. stuff from the Bible. But we can prove it. We can prove it with the Bible. You can prove it. We can prove it with the Bible, science, the history, secular history. And, and I can do the same with. No, you can't. With prove it. That's what we ask you. Well, let me ask you something. What what is what is better preserved? Something that's preserved through fire or something that's preserved through water and mud? Where do they find the fossils? Yeah, water mud. Probably. Oh, okay. Yeah. so okay. now does the, does, the, does the Bible speak about a flood that happened on the whole earth? Yeah. Okay. Now, now, okay. not just hold on, hold on. Not just the Bible. Do not every nation, every religion have a story about the flood? Yes or no? I don't every know. Every religion. You don't know, but yes, the answer is yes. All right, the uh, the, the the people that worship uh, uh, Buddha. Every 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 so-called religion has a story about a flood. You don't believe in other religions, right? We don't believe in religion. Period. This is the nationality. Believe this in is the, the Bible. Yeah. We, yeah. Get we get, get John eight and thirty two real quick, Baba Kishan. Because we don't believe in lies. Okay, that's the, that's what you gotta understand. Because you could be one of us. Okay. Because because uh, we don't have no signs out here, but the so-called all, all cool that you do your thing. Uh, but, it is but cool. I, I don't like that you be so aggressive about it. You know? We're not aggressive. What you mean? Well, we're aggressive. well, well you got to think you about it. You, you heard about the story of... No, Jesus. you don't allow, I feel like, other opinions. Okay, well, let me ask you something. You heard the story about Jesus Christ, right? Yeah. Okay. Do you think he was killed because he was nice or because he was in a, for everybody, everybody else? Everybody didn't agree with him. The second thing. The okay, second thing. exactly. So, so, so does, it, does it happen. sound like more like we're trying to be here for everybody to agree with us or everybody to, to hate not we're not looking for everybody to hate us but that's just what's going to come naturally according to the bible do you think jesus wanted everybody to hate him no of course not okay. but they they still but that's what, him. but they his, whooped him his they own, spit on him his own people hey, right. had him put to death right his own his own people put him to death right yeah i yeah. mean you know yeah. a little no, bit about the, I, uh, about I, the bible i think so right well, yeah, well, if you read the Bible, you know, I know you, the Romans you say you don't believe in it, but yeah. when you look into the Bible, the Romans, his own people were the ones who brought Jesus to the Romans yeah, yeah, yeah. To, for him to be cross crucified. They delivered him up. They delivered him up. So Jesus, even when, because, you know, people so worship Jesus, Christ, all that, but he wasn't loved by everybody. He got put to death. Yeah. Nobody, by his own people. Everybody didn't agree with him. How many apostles did he have? He had 12 apostles, main apostles. He had other followers, yeah. of course, but the majority of the people weren't following him. They didn't care what he had to say. They hated what he had to say. So read that. Read that, though, real quick. <laughs> this is the, the book of John, chapter 8, verse read, 32. Listen, listen carefully now. Yeah. yeah. It says, and ye shall know the truth. Ye shall know the truth. You don't know the truth. You're talking about the Big Bang We've theory. Told we talk about truth. We're not talking about theories. We're talking about the truth facts. Okay? We can prove it. You think, it, oh, you're just quoting the book. Well, we can go into the Bible and we the can history. prove it with secular history. You, under, you know what secular history is? No. I know you speak German. You speak German, right? Sure. <laughs> you, what do you mean, sure? You say you were German. Yeah, of course. I'm he has accent. He has accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so. Do, don't you believe me? I'm German. No, no, I can, uh, I can hear it in your accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, Everybody yeah, says that. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. me every time. So, so listen. You shall read it, read it from the top of the shelf. It says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. The truth shall make you free. You're, 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 you're in prison in your own mind because you don't know the truth. The truth has set us free because we understand the truth yeah, now. Sure. All right, you ever seen the movie The Matrix? Yeah. You seen the movie The Matrix? Yeah. All right, cool. Now, what did Morpheus, Morpheus present unto Neo? He what gave him the red pill and the blue yeah, pill. Yeah, two points, points. Yeah, right. And the, and the red pill will set him free. If not, he would just wake up in the morning and keep on with his life. 
See, the thing is, we have woken up to the truth. We understand who we are. Let me ask you a question, just to see if you were in the truth. Because you, you, you talk about Big Bang Theory, but how does that have relevance to anything? What nationality are you? Germany. It, Germany. Germany. No, 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 okay. What nationality are you according to the rest of the world? All right, because German wasn't always to the German. Well, German? even, even according to secular history, German, Ger Germ Germany wasn't always Germany, was it? Of course not. So, what nation? Because people migrated there. You understand migration patterns? Yeah. Okay. So, what nationality are you, or what you believe? You know, because you like we, like we said, you could be one of us. So I'm trying to see where you at. I, I don't know, bro. We're, we're, okay, we'll, we'll ask you. I'll ask you this. According to today's terms, what nationality or or what race of people would you identify with? If you go do, how, you say you've been here a couple of weeks in America, right? Yeah. You planning to stay? No. Oh, uh, I, 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 I stay here till end of December. Okay. Okay. So, so you're an exchange student? No, I was going to gap year. Vacation job kind of, kind of thing. Yeah, more like a vacation. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. That's a gap year between job and super studies. Okay. That's cool. But if if you were to stay here. In America, I don't know if they do the same thing in I Germany. I wouldn't suggest that. Yeah. Either way, <laughs> he can't escape. You can't escape. Right? You can't escape. You can't, yeah. Either way. But hey, yeah, yeah, how, how far is Germany from probably, Amsterdam? Yeah. What Amsterdam is? What country is Amsterdam? Uh, or is that a country? Amsterdam. That's Netherlands. Netherlands. Okay. How yeah. far are you yeah. from there? That's right next. Couple to hours. No. Couple no, days. Man, it's, it's, countries. Are, uh, uh, it's it's like it's far. I don't know miles. Hey, that was hey, miles. I I don't know. But nonetheless, thousand okay. Miles, thousand, so, uh, thousand five hundred miles. A thousand five hundred. No way, thousand five hundred miles. It's, it's That's half the U.S., man. Yeah, from from north. Uh, okay, but to nonetheless, south, nonetheless, north if if, north, if you stayed here in America, all right, yeah. you go you go apply to this place, Columbia Cafe, right? They're gonna give you a, a application, right? Yeah. One of the questions is gonna be. So this is this is a cut for everybody. To say, oh, that race doesn't matter. All this. One of the questions on the application is gonna be: Are you white, black? Hispanic or other? What would you check? What? Okay. Uh, so I don't. I don't like the race kind of thing because it always comes with racism and stuff, which is, of course, horrible. So I'm. I'm white. Everyone can see that. Well, but I, so, I don't well, like well, this well, race kind of thing. I'm, I'm gonna ask you this. Yeah. Has your father? Has your father's line? Do they come from Germany? Your according to your father. Well, I, I only know my grandparents so I don't so, we're, so probably no your, your father's right. grandparents or your mother or your, your your father's or your mother's parents my my mother's parents were the ones Polish, that raised you I think Polish. Okay, who so raised you though yeah my parents you okay. felt oh your parents raised yeah, you. who both were okay. Germans. okay, German, but you're, okay. You're, according to your dad's line yeah your dad's father where did he come from he came he, from Germany a, or a somewhere German, else? yeah okay so you don't know anything prior to that? Nah, I, I don't think so. Okay, because according, let me ask you something, real quick. If I if I take a, an apple tree, right? Yeah. And I take the seed of an apple. Yeah. And I plant one here in in, in America, and one in Germany. Yeah. Is it going to be two different trees, or is it going to be an apple tree? Uh, it's an apple tree. Okay. Sure. So the seed, the seed determines what that. Get that numbers. Be, numbers right? eight. What, yeah. what, one eighteen. Okay. So your dad, he carries the seed, right? Yeah. Okay, so now if Cause, your cause, dad was a German, yeah, that would mean that no matter if he went to China or if he went to still America, a, a German. and he, you know, yeah. gave seed to a woman, that yeah. would be a German child, right? Half German, half. Yeah, well, 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 he would get uh, features from a Chinese woman. He would get features from a yeah, right. American woman, but he would still be because that was a seed that was grown in the that was fertilized by the woman's womb. That features, was grown up to be a child, which is what you would be. Yeah. Teachers don't right. determine nationality. Yeah. That's what just you because understand. you look, just because you look Chinese doesn't mean you're Chinese. Right. You see what I'm sure. saying? Because you, I, yeah. I can nah, go. Yeah. Nah, I, nah. Check this out. I can go to China right now. Like I look, go have sex with a so-called Chinese woman, have a child there. But that kid's not gonna be Chinese because my the, the yeah, but part, part Chinese. He he be no. You gotta understand that who gave who like the brother just gave you the, the the analogy of the seed the apple seed. If I plant it, let me e read it. Uh, well, let me say it again. If I plant a seed in America, apple seed in America, it's gonna be an apple tree, right? Yeah. If I plant a seed in China, what kind of seed is that gonna be? If it's an apple seed. Yeah. It's gonna be. It's still gonna be an apple tree. It might. It might look different, 
the, the apples might come out a little different in China, but it's still apple, ain't it? But you compare an apples and uh, no, oranges. I just gave you an well, apple no, and apple. It, well, if you think about it, a seed of an apple and the sperm of a man well, what, are they not the same thing? What does sperm? Think, of, what does sperm go back to? Back, yeah, what sorta? Well, but, okay. but but uh, you you can't ignore the fact that the the woman. Place half the well, part. she's, she's you know, considered as dirt. Well, okay. let's 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 yeah. put it in or the ground. Let's put it into perspective. This tree right here was born from a seed, right? Yeah. Which would have been the man's sperm. Now it was planted in the earth and it grew, right? Yeah. Okay. Now does this not have earthly features? There's a leaf. There's trees. It has roots that dig into the in, into the floor, right? right. Into the ground, right. right? It still has earthly features. Just like if I implant my seed into a Chinese woman, she's still going to have features of my child is still going to have features of a Chinese woman. He might have slanted eyes. He might have straight hair. He might have whatever features of another woman, right? Yeah. But still, according to nature, he is still my son. He's still from my seed. Just like this tree is still from whatever seed this is. And I got to... Uh, no matter what the dirt is planted I, I don't in, agree 100% either. What do you mean? Well, listen. What does the word... what we're well, saying. Listen. Let, what does the word husband go back to? A husband. What does the word husband mean? Yeah, married man to a, to a wife. It means a, a flower in the it, field. A husband, when you the go one that laid a seed down. When you go to the true meaning of the word, which means etymology. Etymology means the study of words. Yeah. It means a, a man who plants a seed, a sower. Now, does not a man sow his seed into a woman? I, when you with, let, let, in American terms, we go and we plow a woman. We go and we we put our dick into a woman and we plow her, right? Yeah. Just like okay. we. Okay. Yeah. Sperm. Right. Yeah, the sperm we, is the seed. So then we, yeah, exactly. We lay our seed but into the woman. 50, 50. Exactly. But listen, the but where seed, did the seed come from? But the yeah, seed, the man, gets, of course. Exactly. But the seed goes into the woman and is grown up through the woman. The woman nourishes it, and he's just gonna like have. Earth. He's gonna have just like the earth. The earth, the 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 woman is gonna grow f the child, and the child is gonna come out looking like the woman and example. the man. It, it don't matter where you plant that seed, where in the earth you plant that seed, it's still gonna be the apple tree. If you plant an apple seed, it's gonna be apple. Uh, apple seed is not gonna give you an orange tree, is it? Right. Or is it gonna give you half apple, half half pear? It's always gonna be an apple oh, tree. But you can do that. It's, yeah, you can. It, you, can it's, oh, no, it, it, you can. You can. You can. That's but scientific. That, Manipulation. Yeah. Really? Bullshit. You want to yeah, say yeah, bullshit? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, yeah that's, you can. You, yeah. you can do a lot of things. All right. Yeah. You can drown yourself. It's, it's not convenient, though. Okay. <laughs> you can eat poo poo off the street. That's not convenient, that don't right? Make it food, yeah. yeah. Don't. That don't make it right. All right. Let me read you this. This is in the Bible. Numbers one and eighteen. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. So everybody came together. They gathered all the people of Israel. The Lord's chosen people. Go and ahead. they declared their pedigrees, meaning their lineage, mm -hmm. after their families, by the house of their fathers. Okay. According so, Well, let me ask you something. When you go when you watch um you're from Europe, so you're from Western uh Eastern Europe, but when you watch uh, a lot of these movies, um mainly is is usually Eastern Europe movies about medieval times. When someone would come up to a castle, they would declare themselves by what? Their father's name, right? Oh, I'm son of I'm like this. I'm the house of this yeah. and this. Yeah, I'm son of this. Yeah. Why would they do that, though? Because it goes back to the lineage of the father. You are who your father was. So if your father was Dutch, let's just say you're from Germany, but yeah. your father was an Irish or Dutch. Yeah. That means you would still be a Dutch living but, in but Germany. You need, you need to uh, make account for the fact that women didn't play a, a huge role in the medieval time. Well, well, they women didn't. don't play a role it, at all, man. <laughs> exactly. All, all they are, it could Nowadays, be a, they're, also, now when they you said it now when they because the, the, yeah. the because we're not gonna go into that because they they've we been given equal rights, rights though right I, we believe in the rights that the Lord had given was us that a no well well let me ask you something was that a no you said equal rights right yeah okay now men and women we're we're, we're talking about equal rights oh Jesus okay, you need to no, believe no, no, in let's, no well, equal listen, rights I'm, 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 we're trying to reason with you man. we're gonna read we're gonna try to reason I'm, let's say I agree with oh, equal boy. rights now let's say I go to work right yeah. And I and I want to get a promotion. Yeah. And there's a woman that wants to get the same promotion that I want to. She dressed with her shirt. Yeah, just sure, like but this. that's because men just are fucked listen, up. Just listen, just listen. Men are just, fucked up. Yeah. Listen, let's, 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 let's get this. If a woman has a shirt that's down to this yeah. and her titties are out. Yeah. Yeah. Breasts, yeah. Booty, yeah. Booty. And I come to work as a, as a businessman yeah. and I'm asking for the same promotion. 
this woman comes up to the man. He, she asks, as she, she got her shirt down to here, who's more likely to get her the job? Well, let's let's with, let's, with dress the way that they're dressed. Let's give this example. Yeah, you want me to say the woman, but well, no, well, I'm we not don't asking want you to say the woman. I, yeah. We want you to know what you that's want just, to say. Man. But but that's not the equal. But that is true. Equal, okay, right? no, no, so, no, no, no. That's no, not. I, I understand I, what he's saying. I understand what you're saying. That's not equal. So right. I, I want the people I understand what you're saying. Equal race or or the no no I, whatever. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For the for the but for the person who is more listen qualified. Listen. Yeah. Okay. That that. But that's not true anymore. Let's use a better. Let's use another example. You say equal rights. Yeah. You have a woman. Let me ask you that. You have a wife. No. You have a girlfriend. Smart man. No. Okay. Good. If you okay, let's let's say hypothetically. You understand what hypothetically is? Yeah. Let's pretend. All right. You had a wife. Okay. Yeah. You've been married to her ten years. Yeah. You hear some. You you live in a two-story house. Okay. Yeah. You hear somebody break through the window. What is the woman gonna do? Is she gonna she gonna jump out of the bed? And go rush down there to protect you, or is she gonna grab you and be like, "Did you hear that?" So where's the equal rights there. in that? Hold on, hold on. Where's the equal rights in that? Now, if they, that you claim, hold, hold on, again. hold on, because you didn't have an answer for yeah. that. Yeah. She's not finna get out the bed and go defend you, is she? But you talking about equal rights? Now, <laughs> I give you another example. If this tree falls, and y'all both on the job. Y'all, your job is to pick up leaves and stems and, and twigs. The, the whole tree falls. Is she going to go pick the tree up or is she going to look at you to go pick up the tree? Man, now, you, you, I'll give you another example. No, hold on, hold no, on. Just you, wait. You'll make it all... Uh... Hold on. I'm not talking about Butch the, the Builder. I'm talking about women. Effeminate women as they're supposed to no, be. No. Now, now if, 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 if she smacks you in the... If a woman disrespects you, calls your whole family... You know, just dirt outside bags. of their names, dirt yeah. bags. If she smacks you in the face and, and starts hitting you, and you hit her one time, yeah, and you knock her out cold, does that show equality? No, but but you you break it down to the biological. Okay, so uh, bi he said biological. Now is a uh, is a woman. See, hold you on, hold make on. it so aggressive, man. No, no, I don't know. It, it, we just we're passionate. passionate. We're passionate. Yeah, yeah, right. We're, okay, yeah, so, that's so probably on. the better word it's, than we're aggressive. We're passionate. Okay, so yeah. so if, if if um damn, what was I gonna say? Okay, so <laughs> now if you if, if a woman punches you or something. You know, just a regular female. You know, one of these these yeah, American these, females. Yeah, just American. <laughs> they American, will do that. If she punches <laughs> you in the face, hard as she can, you know, you might be like, you know, it, it might hurt a little bit. But now, if you sock her as hard as you can, what do you think's gonna happen? Where's the equality in that, man? You gonna knock her out cold? Yeah, but that's because. Because yeah. what biology, like you just said. Yeah, right. A man is naturally stronger than a woman. Yeah. By nature. Yeah. Right. Who? Will, oh, okay. Because yeah, you said, oh, it's, it's, it's according to today, but wait a of, minute. Of course, according to of course the, the there beginning, are better jobs for men than for women. Like okay, uh, okay. So okay, let me ask you this: if, if if you go on the, into the shop and you want to get your alternator changed, do you want a woman to change it or a man to change it? Uh, what, if you see a change? woman mechanic in there changing your car or, or doing something on your car. Okay, well, well I'll actually like, like, like in nature. Say, say like well, an office, like office job. Okay. You know, office jobs, both, that both, doesn't... both men and women should have the. Should. Should. Yeah, yeah. The, the world is fucked up, as you know. Let's see what he says. Go ahead, go ahead. Got it. Yeah, yeah, because equal rights are not 100% established in every, every place. Okay. Right? So, but who's men, establishing those men, rights? Did, did nature establish those rights or did people establish those rights? Did man establish those rights? Or did the feminist movement establish those rights? Yeah, people, because where did the... in general. Okay, so where did the first feminist movement come from? Uh, I, it didn't come from Germany, did it? Nope. Yeah, you, you mean the country? No, 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 no. No, the, 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 yeah, no, the country. You could say the country. The, what country did it come because from? Because man suppresses... No, 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 suppress no. You're not women. answering the question. No. You, you don't understand. Let me rephrase the question. Uh, who first started giving rights to women to do liberties that they're doing today? Of course, men. No, yeah. but what? No, but, what but, place? But what country? It was actually during the time women. during your. It wasn't China. It no, wasn't no, no, Saudi Arabia. Hold up, hold up. It, it was actually during the time that your country was at war. It was during World War Two. Yeah. 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 If you no, go back to and it's the country, so fucked up that this all established so. Well, late. listen. Yeah. Exactly. During World War Two, America 
started giving more rights to the woman because the man was at war. So they say, hey, listen, you can be independent, get a job, do this, do that. And now we so can tax you. You don't got to depend on the man. And then after uh, World War II, when the American man came back home, the woman was like, hey, I don't need you no more. I've been doing fucking, I've been making money by my damn self. Hey, the best example is that, man. <laughs> Are you going to, like, I'll go back to it again, man. Yeah. If you hear something downstairs, somebody breaking into your house, are you going to tell your woman to go protect yeah. you? Yes or no? It depends on the woman. It depends it. on the woman. Well, no, look, 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 look. I'm okay. not talking about Hulk Hogan. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're not. Uh, opposite, you know. Yeah, many, you mean the average woman. The average, average woman, woman, man. Yeah, and then, because then even, it's be the rich man. Okay, so, so what are you, woman, what are you talking about? What woman are you talking about that's going to go downstairs and defend yeah. you? If you're talking about an outlier. Hulk Hogan kind of woman. You're talking about an outlier. Hey, but what? A woman is... A woman that's... An outlier is... This is the norm, and this is a person that's rare. Yeah. But yeah. check this out. Yeah, check this so, out. Hold but, on, hold on. It, it depends Listen to on this. the woman. Listen to this. All. Because it doesn't matter what the woman looks like, how much she can pick up. In a time of trouble, a woman's always going to revert back to her internal things, her her, her feminist or, or the yeah, feminist but, but spirit. You, again, you're it doesn't it matter how to, much she can bench, the, the how tough she acts. Proponent. Okay, so then what? Uh, if you, you're saying we're breaking it down to the biological opponents. What other uh, components are we supposed to break it down to? No, 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 not something like uh, defending yourself or okay. So then let's say but, let, but let's talk like, about like mathematics. Intellectual. Okay, let's talk about okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's talk about intellectual. Yeah. How many women have compared to men have come out with scientific uh, inventions? Yep. Compared to go. men. And know. name one. Name one know. woman that has come out with a smart invention in this world compared to a man. Because I can name you a hundred men that have come up with yeah. millions of benches that have been beneficial to but humanity need, than a woman. But you need to make uh, account for that women... You and, said and intellectual. No, no, sorry. Let me finish. Okay. That, that women are only phone. able to have the same kind of education than men since like the World War II. Okay. Exactly. Now, since World War II... <laughs> yeah, yeah but, but isn't that fucked up? No, it's it not. Is. Wait, hold on, hold on. How long have these people... Uh, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American man been along to go get a real education according to the yeah, society. Yeah. How long? Sexism How long? And r racism. racism. Is the, the oh, same, so so the now so now our our, our so-called Negroes, Latinos on the same level is a woman, and then the so-called white man is on a different level. Is that what you're saying? Because you just said that <laughs> yeah, that only right. women have just been allowed just just recently been allowed yeah, to get it. Hold on, let, let me yeah, finish. Yeah. You just said that women have only been recently allowed to get proper education. Right. When did these people start getting proper education according to this society? Yeah, like, I don't know, 50 years ago? Exactly. Yeah. The, 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 yeah. So, 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 what, like what, so you're saying that these men are on the same level of women? Actually, according to the United States Constitution, these men, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called, are considered three fesses. Three fifths Three of a men, and it's never even, changed. They didn't change. Human. They didn't make an amendment to change the constitution. That's they here in said, America. That's here in America, man. What, what's with it, the three fifths? In in America, a so-called black man, yeah. a so-called a Latino man, or a so-called Native American man, according to the constitution, the laws here in America, we're only considered two thirds of a uh, three fifths of three a person. Fifths. We're not even considered a whole person. It, it's just, for, that's a, that's a, that's in the Constitution. Look it up. No shit. Look it up. We're not yeah. even considered. Yeah. And, and, and that's been established since like the 1800s. We're that considered is, animals out that here. That law hasn't even been changed to, to 2018. Yeah. It's still that. It's still to this day established. That's America for you. Yeah. <laughs> a, and, but that hey, but that goes to show you if 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 just something like that is fucked up. Ameri imagine everything else that America has um, taught. Because yeah. uh, you you come from Germany. And I know you, you, you're from another country, but does not America uh, spread their philosophies to every other country in the world? America has their military bases in, in Germany and in, in Poland and in Sweden and in, in Europe. Yeah. They have it all throughout the world. America yeah. has their military bases in all throughout the world. Do you not think that if I put my home, my home in your backyard, I'm not gonna teach you what I know? I'm not going to force what I know because America is the strongest military in the world, right? According to the standards. Yeah, now it's why, well, well, let's, let's, <laughs> let's prove it. Let's prove not it. Not no more, but this, well, uh, yeah. back in the day, it was, America was the strongest military. Yeah. Okay. What, what start, what, what stop World War II? Yeah. Let, let, let's let what, him answer. Yeah. Let, what, let him answer. What, what, ended, World what ended World War II? What ended the war? What ended World War II? Uh, uh, 
Germany and the, 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 the war with Germany. Yeah. The war with Germany ended first, but what ultimately ended the complete war of World War Two? What was it? Pearl Harbor, I think. Mm, what happened what? after Pearl Harbor? Yeah, what happened because of Pearl Harbor <laughs> with Japan? Because Japan hit struck uh, Pearl Harbor. Well, it seems like you're having our Japan got struck with mi nuclear missiles. They got struck with yeah. the atomic bomb. Hiroshima. And then everybody decided nobody wants to fuck with America. They just dropped two big ass bombs on Japan. Yeah. I don't want to fuck with them no more. We give up. And after that, be, re, shortly before that, Germany had gave, it given up already. Yeah, right. But then Japan got struck with them two nuclear bombs and then everybody was like, fuck this. We don't want to fuck with America. Yeah. Wow. You know, so it, 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 uh, uh, at first, at that time, which that's in the scriptures, we can find it in the Bible. Yeah. Everybody was like, "Hold up, nobody wants to fuck with this person no more. Let's give in to what they got to say." Which is what what came out of World War Two. But but isn't that wrong? It is wrong. But yeah. it is wrong. <laughs> we we're not agree. We're not disagreeing with you. But what? After World War Two, who was the top nation of the world? After World War, who? Well, I'll ask this first. <laughs> who was the top nation of the world before World War One? Oh, that, that's a good question. It was Britain. It was Britain, England. right? England was the yeah. top nation before World War II. Oh, okay. You After know what? What did they teach you in Germany, man? <laughs> well, they, yeah. But then that, after. That's, that, but that's my fault. After uh, World War II, America became the top nation of the whole world. Yeah. Because they dropped the bonds. Everybody was scared of them. Who, America well, became the top economy of the world. Perfect example. Who's dropped a, a bomb like that ever since? Yeah. No one has ever done what America has done to yeah, the world. What happened in Germany after World War II? Well, it's going to come. I'm going to tell you uh, that. I, I, I sure hope not. Because what? Well, then it, we all did. Well, no, we're not. We're not. Not we're at all. all. But you see, that's, most. that goes to happen. What, what is the big bang that we got to tell you about what's coming? Well, your Bible won't protect you from atomic bombs. Well, the Bible well, tells us. The Bible it, will. It, the Bible, <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. The Bible, this is not going to save me. This ain't going to protect me. Yeah. But what's written inside these scriptures will protect me if you can understand that now what is big bang and science gonna do for you is science Nothing. telling you what's Nothing. coming because we can bring out prophecies according to the bible that hasn't happened yet like world war three all right race wars all right pestilence we can bring out all these things in the bible matter of fact let's get it because because we've done a nah, lot of talking nah, now we're gonna nah, prove nah, it through the bible no but, but i got i gotta run now you gotta okay. run. Well, let's get you one scripture, man. Cause just one, one scripture before, we, yeah, we, yeah. before you go. Okay, all right. Because you've been cordial with us. You know we've been dealing with you accordingly. Yeah, yeah, so correct. one more, one more scripture, and then you can you can go about your day. I know okay. you've been you okay. look like you've been jogging. No, uh, I'm just <laughs> sweating here because I'm not used to the weather. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Hot, hot and humid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm sweating too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, we we live here. We ain't yeah. sweat. So that's how bad it is. Uh, yeah, let me yeah, get, yeah, let right. me get this. One scripture, and this is in the Bible, man. And you can tell if you can't tell that this is happening <laughs> yeah. right now, then then you're just gonna die like the rest of these people. Yeah. And like we said, you could be part of our people, and if you repent and come back to the Lord and accept Him, yeah, then you're gonna be saved in truth and sincerity. Now, if you think it's a joke and ha ha ha, when the Lord comes back, because the Lord is coming back, all right, then you're gonna die. Simple <laughs> as that. All right, okay, listen to this though. Yeah. Second Ezra chapter 8, verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them. That in the latter time shall dwell in the world. So the, the scriptures say many great miseries shall happen to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world. We're in the latter times because this was written early, right? Yeah. The Bible was written early and now we're living in later days. We're living way past the, the time this was written. And Last so the, times. The scripture said that many great miseries should happen. And now look what's happening around the world. There's mass murder. There's talk about wars. Get it, man. 24. Too. Kind of. Yeah. There's, there, there's, there's people killing each other, especially here in America. I don't know yeah. what you came here to America for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what made you come here to? You, you came here for vacation. There's a lot of places you can go for vacation. Yeah, yeah, no. I, Why I, America? I, I wanted to improve my English a little bit. You want to improve your English? Okay. Well, it's a known language. You know, yeah, that's, that's the international then, language. Then, then the, you have great national parks. Great all, national parks throughout the listen. And, and, and national parks. I, says, I, <laughs> bro, I'm, I'm gonna say this. Now? I'm gonna say this before you before you go. Yeah. When you do go home, yeah, research the dark ages, yeah. the middle ages, yeah. and you're gonna see that the most of Europe, Germany all included. of Europe, Germany included, Germany included, was ruled by so-called Negro men, black men 
was ruled by Europe during the Middle Ages. Dark, Dark Ages. Ages. Look it up. Between you're gonna about see... 700, 700 AD to about 30, the late, well, we're really beginning in the 13, 300 AD all the way to about 13 AD. So-called Negroes ruled like Europe. Europe. Did you know that? It's called the, uh, the, the, the Byzantine Empire. The Byzantine Empire and also... Um, the Dark Ages. The Dark uh, Ages. Um, where, where, where they said that the, 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 the plague was running through, the Black Plague, the, the Bubonic plague. 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 That, that's when so-called black, black people man. were ruling Europe. Okay. Why do you think they call them the Moors? You, you know the about Moors. the Moors? That's, that's what I was looking for, the Moors. Look up the history of the Moors and what they did and, who, okay. and what land they ruled. The Moors, which Moors goes back to uh, the Latin word Moreno, which means black. Yeah. Dark or, or dark skinned man. That's why we say that you could be possibly one of our people. Yeah. 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 Sure. Sure. You could. You, be, could, you, could, you could. You could. Your line. Your father's line. Because you. You say he was a German. If your father's line goes back to the original people that ruled Europe or ruled uh, Germany, yeah. he could go back to a dark skinned man. Right. Right. Same yeah. thing with the Scottish. Same thing with the Europeans. Same thing with yeah, the. Yeah, we are all basically. And that's why we. Yeah, early, that's so. why earlier we said it doesn't matter about your mother yeah. because if your father. All right, your, your father, let's say, okay, sure, five. It depends on just the mother. Listen, it depends listen, okay, on what you look like, but it doesn't go back to what you want. Just listen to this. If your father, let's say uh, your great-great-grandfather was a so-called black man, dark is dark, dark. I'm talking yeah. about super dark. Yeah. He had sex with a white woman. Then his son had sex with another white woman. Yeah, yeah, and so right, on right, until yeah. you came along, you're not even going to know that your great-great-great-grandfather was a so-called black man. So it, it doesn't just, matter where just, you're born. It doesn't matter where you're from or where your mother. It doesn't matter about the the the, the lineage of your father. Yep. Hey, because because me. Cause but me the same him. goes with the mother. The yeah, mother, well, my mom, well, look, my well, great great grandmother, yeah, yeah, family black as well. Come on, man. <laughs> look, well, look, well, look, listen. Me and him, me and me and this brother are actually brothers. Me and him are brothers. Yeah, okay. We have the same mother and father. Yep. But what? When you go to our father, our father looks to not, a little not, bit lighter than me. Yeah. But then his grandfather, uh, my our grandfather, is is lighter than him lighter with than blue eyes, and then his father is black, and it was a slave that came from Spain. So you see, it doesn't matter what you what your skin looks like; yeah. it depends what your line goes back to. But please, the, no, please take no, the mother in count. No, no we, account okay. So so we're not we're not saying oh the woman's you know we're not saying that she doesn't matter at all. Yeah. We're just saying that your nationality. What you, what your heritage is, doesn't consist of of your mother. Your, just think about in the in the in the. In, nobody, King Arthur never said, oh, "I am the son of Queen." Blah blah blah. <laughs> it, it was always about my father, my father from the the line of this and that, man. That's even the the, even, the higher. Hold on, the higher ups. All right, the the, the you know about the, the the elite of this world, the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. They're from Germany. Yeah. You know about them. Yeah, now, right. do they go? They do they go by their mother's lineage or do they go by their father's lineage? Now, when you get married to a woman, does she you take her name or does she take your name? Depends on my future wife, I guess. No, no. Well, listen, 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 listen to the question again. Or you're not. Listen to the question. <laughs> but even if she if, yeah. even if she don't want to do it, she's gonna hyphenate, right? Yeah. I so, I ask again: When you marry a woman, yeah, or when you have a child with a woman, does that baby have your name or her name? If you're with, answer the question. It depends. It depends. Nah, man. It, on, man. Originally, <laughs> originally <laughs> according, <laughs> according to men, when men were actually guys, men, it's guys, about the men. Let's wrap this up. And, and I got to go. All right, All right man. That, had, this was fun, but. It was, I, it's I, not fun for us, man. I, I, be, I believe, I, I believe for, it's, it's in, in, good, in good people. And uh, I believe in equal, equal rights. Right, and that, that equal be, rights. Man. That, what we're going to see about equal rights when all hell breaks out through the world yeah, okay, and people yeah, are fending yeah. for themselves. Let's see if women are going to be protecting themselves or are they going to look for a man to protect them. Hey, then he, we'll see about equal Germany, rights. Germany had the Brexit, right? Germany yeah. did. No, the, the, the Brexit. The, the Britain. They're part of. No, well, no. Germany no. had the Brexit too. Oh, no, no, it? no, no. Germany didn't no. have it. They're, they're still. They're not. On, Germany's not part of the EU. It was only Britain. Germany's not part of the EU? Yeah, sure. They, what do you I mean? They they them we, 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 we are part of the EU. EU? I thought yeah, Germany but, 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 did the Grexit. Are no, part of the no, EU it, or the NATO? Which one? Both. Both? Yeah. 
but but the, 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 the Britons out, but. the Britons tried to exit they did. They the, did. Well, the Germany the, the, yeah. the, the Britons are, are taking and, themselves and now out they, right now. they want to roll back and try to get back in the well, yeah they're going through some shit right yeah. now <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah but well let me ask you this no, you, yeah, no, 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 one last question one last question and then and then you know you can head out you say you 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 were born in Germany yeah okay cool. What year, roughly? You don't have to tell me exactly how old you are. Like 80s, 90s, 90s? 90? Oh, damn. Okay, okay shit. Are okay, so you really don't know nothing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but. You are age, yeah, you are. Age. Age. You don't know nothing. <laughs> but, but, okay, so, so, so about the Holocaust. What do you know about the Holocaust? Let me ask you that. The Holocaust. Oh, oh Jesus. No, no, no. Hey, we don't care. We're we going to expose. We, hey. There's a lot of anti Semitism here in America. Just, but. Just, just tell us what you know about it. They killed a lot of Jews. Who killed a lot of Jews? Germans, Germans, and, and uh, Americans. Americans? Is that, hold on, hold on, oh, is that what they told you in Germany? Is, is, is that what they told you what, from what? American history, or is that what they told you in German history? Germany. Because then, then the Hitler, Germans, yeah. the Germans told you that they killed a bunch of Jews. Yeah. You learned that at school. I, I, I don't. I, <laughs> that's, that's. I, I think I, I'm mixing. Said, I, I think I'm mixing something up here. You might, I, you might you, be mixing up a lot of philosophies. Well, <laughs> we're not, we're not gonna say you're wrong. Cause I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you that. But go look up your own history, yeah, yeah. and go look up your history, and you're gonna see that I, what I'm you've not, been taught I'm is wrong. Good. Well, let's yeah, I'm not good at history. Stuff. You know, yeah. they, they, I don't know if they do or not. You know, I have never lived in Germany. Do they teach you about Hitler in Germany? Yeah, sure. They do. Sure. sure. What was Hitler considered? Was he not Jewish? Yeah, he was called Jewish. So he, so you're telling me that he's going around killing his own people? You ever been yeah, to Auschwitz? Yeah, I, I, I guess it makes so. Makes no sense, right? Hold on, hold on. You've been to Auschwitz? Yeah, but but he was a. a he was, he was, he was, oh, that's what they tell you, right? That's what they tell you, huh? They tell you. He was, no, but no, it, but they, wait, they, they the don't tell you, hold, but, oh, so, but he was. Okay, but in the, in the time, was, was not Hitler the man of the year in Times Magazine? He was. In America. And what did he say? Hold America, on, hold on. What did he say? <laughs> what did uh, Hitler say about the Jews, the real Jews? I don't know. He said the real Jews are held captive in America. So how can yeah. Hitler. Hitler said that. Hitler said this. You can look it up. <laughs> it's in the actual books. Yep. Okay, and you don't do, you don't don't go to Google because a lot of people say oh that's Google. Yeah. Well, go look it up. Go into the books, Time Magazine of that year. I think it was like 40, 40, uh, 40, 40, 40. 41, 41. Oh, I can't believe that. It's well, you 40, you don't have 40, to believe it. Forty one is pretty early. Late. 40, early. Nah, the it, World it's War probably, II was it's probably like 38, 30, 39, or late yeah, 30s. Yeah, yeah, that makes. But look more it up, yeah, Hitler. Yeah, that was war, out of the mouth, out, out of the mouth probably. of Hitler, Adolf Hitler. He said that the real Jews are here in America. Yeah, that being held captive. Sure, yeah, yeah. He, just he, look, he just look said it up that, because yeah, and another reason, so, yeah. I, another sure. reason. I, one last thing is, the, uh, have you been to Auschwitz? Things, yeah. You've been to, you. This is the last one. Yeah. You've been to Auschwitz. <laughs> you've been to Auschwitz where they supposedly burned up uh, six million yeah, Jews. Yeah. You've been there. Yeah. You bet. You've actually been yeah, there. Yeah, I've been there. Yeah. Now, did you go into those so-called ovens? Yeah. You went in there. Yeah. Okay. Now, did they have a big thing like this? That said, six million Jews were yeah. killed here. Yeah. How many Jews were living in Europe at that time? I don't know. M well, well, I'm not gonna millions. millions but see, that's the you need to look up your history. You got to actually look up the because, records. Because that, that that was <laughs> changed. Right it the was records were out there. It was changed many times. It yeah. went from two million to four million, then to six million. But there wasn't even that many Jewish people in Europe at that time. Where did those people call? Yeah. Camp? Well, First of all, where did those people come from? They call them they they call themselves Khazarians. They call themselves Khazarian Jews. They come from the Caucasus Mountains. Are right, you ever heard of the Ottoman Turks? He knows the Caucasus Mountains. You you by Germany? Nah, that's in Russia, Georgia. Well, no, it, it, they, he has to know because you you in Western Europe. So he he's our age. He don't. They, they well, got yeah, teach yeah, you yeah. the truth over there in Germany, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, just look up. I, I sure hope they they teach us. The yeah, they're telling well, you no, lies. You, <laughs> if you hope in other men to teach you the truth, then then that's a, you you. Then you're never gonna learn the truth. Yeah, but you gotta look it up but, yourself. But if you say so, everybody who hears you says they they ain't teach me. Well, the that's truth. why they, they can't, can't prove nothing. Hey, <laughs> get that real quick in Romans chapter three verse four. No, oh, no, three, no, three, no, no, that's, well, that's, that's, that's okay. it. All right, that's all right. It. okay. That's, I gotta, I gotta that's where go. you draw the line. Yeah. <laughs> before, take care, boys. All right, man. Before the Bible, take this out, though. Before you, while you walk away, have to read. The Bible does say, don't take man. I read. Don't take no. Romans three three. Romans three three. For what if? For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? Verse 4. God forbid. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified so, in thy saints. So when we come out here and we do, like, we're teaching you and we're telling you things, 
we don't expect you to believe us, but we expect well, you to go do your own research and see that, well, okay, damn, you're going to, because you're going to go into right. history and you're going to be like, damn, them dudes that I met in Tampa, they were actually telling the truth. That's what we look for. We don't care if people believe us or not, but when they actually do the research, they're going to see that, oh, shit, what they were saying was actually true because I don't care if people believe me or not. I'm, we're not spitting here. I'm going to spit good tonight, whether yeah. you believe us or not. <laughs> Yeah. But hey, with that man, hey man, you know, take it easy. You have man. a good time here in Tampa, man. Yeah. Hey, Lord yeah, willing, you can get some women. There's plenty of women out here, man. So you can get some women out here, man. I'm and, going and to Tuesday to New Orleans. There that's, you go, New, New Orleans. Well, Orleans. Well, we got a kid. We got brothers out there too. They'll yeah, give you the yeah, word too. You're gonna come across people <laughs> just like us in New Orleans. Yeah, yeah we got so, brothers out there. So. I hope you do, man, because because <laughs> yeah, by the time you get there, I hope you look into this history that yeah, we're talking yeah. about. Look into the truth, man, because it's not what people tell you. All right, because at church, or, or not at church, it's at school, you. they just teach you out of a book and tell you what has been written in that book according to this curriculum. Yeah. Now, you got to go do your own research because a lot of the things they teach you in school is a bunch of BS. It's been whitewashed. You ever heard of iconoclasm? Guys, guys. All right, now. All right, go ahead. Yeah, Nobody said we, we don't have a gun to your head, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave anytime you want, man. All right, man. Have a good one. Just know bad times are coming to this earth, man. Yeah. Horrible right, times. Man. Man. Have a good one, man. All right, man. You, Take it easy. You, Take you it easy. Man. Hey, you see the spirits just having Dead. to work? Hey, that might have been in his way, man. He's just sat here the whole time listening. That or agent. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he got cut up. He probably going to quit his job. Hey, you know, hey, but the spirit had it to where the. You know, edification came out, yeah, man. We don't have to do a part two, or maybe yeah. a, even part three of this, because we only got to the second one. <laughs> we gonna have to do a whole, a whole series of this, but it was through the spirit. What, fifty minutes in, an hour and a half, almost an hour and a half. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> you know, so hey, it just goes to show you, man, that the spirit, no matter what you, what you want to do, man, it's, it's all according to the spirit, man. Yeah, man, it's all according to the spirit. But what? Well, he said, get that. Cause I don't have my phone. Get uh, this dude. Get it again. Uh, the Isaiah. Right out, wait, man's ways are not my way. Because we we didn't we didn't come out here to uh to preach to people. We were about to do a lesson, you know, on the on the Seminole Indians, and look what happened, man. Spirit just changed up, man. That's why it's important to go out onto the highways and byways. We wanted to come out here and do a, a, a specific topic, but what? It's not of our own will. Lord set it up, you know, so we can do this and that. And you see what happened, man. Preaching on to, hey, because he could have been a Jake, you know, who knows. You know, but I mean, he, he wasn't like he was bucking up. I yeah, mean, yeah. Hey, but he's just non-believer. Yeah, which he, is the rest of yeah, 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 two thirds yeah. of our people are gonna exactly. be non-believers. Because so. even two thirds of Israel, they they buck up against when you come up against a woman. Yeah. You know, which, yeah, exactly. well, he, that was his yeah, main yeah. thing. You know, that was equal only, rights. That but was, then we gave him all those example. <laughs> he's still like, yeah, equal rights. Ah, <laughs> come on, man. <laughs> this is uh, Isaiah chapter 50, close 50, out on this. 55 and verse eight. It says, "For my thoughts are not your thoughts." Neither so are we, your ways. We, we thought we were going to come out here and do a lesson on Seminole Indians, which we, we went into. Might have just woken up. Uh, yeah, who knows? Like, he's going to go home. He's going to on the way to New Orleans. Let me see where the New Orleans guy's at. You know, you never know. But nonetheless, yeah. our thoughts were to come out here and do a lesson on, on the Seminole Indians, the atrocities that were done upon the Reubenites. But what? Our thoughts were not the most high thought. The most high came us out here, maybe for that dude. Maybe he's going to wake up. Who knows? Yep. He so had a beard. You know, he had his yeah, beard. He had a little beard. Yeah. Good. Says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, yeah. saith Yahweh. Yeah, so we didn't come out here to do our own will. We came out here to do the Lord's will. Yeah. The Lord showed us what the will was. Hey, we can't, because whether it was for him to get edified and for him to, to wake up to this truth, or whether, kind of like the brother said, man, for it was for this dude to get condemned, man. He's the way we did the will of the Father, man. Exactly, man. We gave him the scriptures. We gave him the knowledge, we gave him the wisdom. And we didn't even hit him with that many scriptures, man. <laughs> yeah, we, did. we gave him with some good scriptures. <laughs> but a, a lot of you we know, gave him with history. You gotta finesse it. You gotta finesse it. It's Jay, you know what I'm saying. But go, oh, oh, well, you hey, sometimes when people come up and they don't wanna they, they say they don't believe in the scriptures. Exactly, you can't just keep yeah, bringing scripture yeah, after just, scripture out. They already don't yeah, believe they in already, it. You gotta you gotta hey, cause you know, yeah, hey, like you said, man, uh, in the in the time of um Back 2,000 years ago, they weren't just smacking niggas with scriptures. <laughs> scripture after scripture, they were telling them, they were, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta go into things, man. You gotta break things. You History gotta, you gotta go into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta go into things, man. Not, and, and but what? Then we always go back to the scripture, of course. Yep. That's the, that's, this is the main thing. But hey, a lot of, if that. they say that, if they come up 
that's why you always got to ask, do you, do you believe in the Bible? Yep. They say no. <laughs> There's no point of bringing out 18 precepts. Yep. Now you know how to address them. Yeah, you, you, you go, and then, okay, 10 minutes later, after you all, y'all been breaking bread with him, bring, hey, bring out that precept. And then he can be like, oh, shit, every, for the last 10 minutes, they've been telling me this, and then they went to a precept and brought it out, and, and, and sure, and behold, Messed it was up. in the Bible. Yep. You know, so, you know, you got to, you got to, that comes with, you know, not saying we seasoned or nothing like that, but that comes with, uh, you know, experience, man. You got to learn how to deal. You got to learn how to deal with these people, man. Because, look, he said he going to New Orleans, man. Hey, <laughs> we might see him in, in, in the Louisiana Saints videos, man. Hey, he's, he might say, hey, I ran across some brothers in Tampa, Tampa and, you know, they told me this and that, to look up this and that, you know, I'm coming up for more questions, man. I'm a German. Who knows, man? Hey, that might be the spirit of the Lord, man. Yeah, you never know, man. You can't eat. Cause uh, uh, hey, well, well, I'll say this: It was the spirit of the Lord that right. brought him up here, yeah. man. Cause he he was he was standing there for a minute, and I had put him on camera. Yeah. And then after he came up, he was like, "I don't want to be on camera." So you know, hey, it could and, be. And, and, and and even when him staying yeah. up here, man, yeah, we yeah. was like the brother said before he left. Me. We didn't hold him <laughs> hostage, man. You said that, yeah, kind of, Cause hey, the spirit held him here for a reason, man. Whether it was for him to get condemned or it was a reason for him. To get brought into this truth, who not, knows? And that's not a, that's not our job. That's our, not our job, job to, to worry about it. The angels are gonna separate the chaff from the wheat, man. Worry not how the unrighteous shall be uh, shall perish, perish, but how the righteous, how the righteous shall be Delivered saved, man. Blood. We ain't worried about whether that man's gonna be saved or not. Nonetheless, yeah. his, the blood. <laughs> with, if he wasn't Israelite, yeah, the blood's exactly. off our hands, man. Blood is off our hands. And man. if he wasn't Israelite, he's he's toast either way, man. Yeah, either way. But uh, I was gonna say something um, that if. Uh, yeah, I can't even remember. But hey, if he said he's gonna go to New Orleans, man. Hey, if he does, he's, he's doing a roundabout of America. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> yeah. But that goes to show you that all the whole world is under the the vibration of the beast, man. And who is the one riding upon the beast? America, man. The, <laughs> it's not West Germania and East Germania part of the beast. Yep. Who's riding upon the beast? America. <laughs> he didn't even know his own history of Germany, yep. man. We didn't, I didn't, we didn't even go to that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. didn't even go That would have been way over his head. <laughs> way over his head. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta give him, you know, <laughs> yeah, you spoon, gotta, spoon you gotta, feed him, man. Spoon feed. But, you know, go ahead and close up. Hey, man, with that, Lord willing, you brothers were edified through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Hoshai, the true names of the, of the Lord and his only begotten son. And with that, we want to say Shalom, Akim. Yeah, shalom. All praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rukhakwadash. Shalom.